Hey, what's going on? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. I'm gonna be doing a quick little modification on this CX-5. I just took off our mirror caps here. I'm gonna be making them red for a sportier look. We're just pulling this rear spoiler off right now. One in here, one here, one here. You can prime it, but this is so little, it's not gonna make a difference. You could paint right over it. When you're wet sanding and you see like little garbage in here. Not have to worry about that because the overspray is going to be so minimal. All we're going to do is dust this area. If we do get overspray on this, it'll wipe right off of the tack rag. It's not a huge deal, okay? We're going to spray some quick adhesion promoter on these bare plastic pieces, okay? And then do our black base coat. This, we're just going to do black base coat, all right? Once this is all dry, right, then we're just going to candy our red. Now, you've seen other videos in VIP where we showed you candy over silver, right? I'm gonna show you candy over red, how it gives you the same effect, but comes out a little bit darker, all right?
a look at this. This is how it laid on actually. It came out very, very, and this is only two coats. This is not even a flow coat. This is just two coats of simple clear coat. You can see how glossy it really came out. Um, I'm gonna show you some other parts in just a bit, but this is the black. Um, no orange peel. I mixed it. I put about 10% reducer, maybe a little bit less, uh, but you can see the mirrors here. Came out fabulous. Uh, and this is candy. This is candy that we painted here. Uh, but you could see how nicely the clear flowed on. Why there's a little texture on here is because I didn't prime it. I didn't 2K prime it and uh, and cut it, flatten it out. You know, I just kind of painted over plastic on these. I just put adhesion promoter and just painted right over plastic. So that's why it has a little texture. Uh, this one a little bit different. Okay, you can see it's super, super glossy here. This is the back piece for our Mazda, our Mazda 5 here. We have all of our pieces painted on the first phase of this CX-5 project here. The next phase will basically be doing the hood with the scoop in it. Here is the Atom X27 spray gun that we use to paint all of these pieces. And as you know, you can use a low volume, low pressure across base coat and clear coat, okay? Low volume, low pressure is really meant to be the SATA RP, okay? Low volume, low pressure is supposed to be for uh, basically clear coats, okay? And this is the Atom X27. MP version, which is the low volume, low pressure MP for clear coat. It sprayed base and clear very, very well. So check this gun out. I highly recommend it. What we're gonna do is cut the back of this off. Okay, I'm gonna give you a bird's eye view. We can start basically aligning it and setting it where we want. Uh, we have found center on this hood scoop, okay, in the front here, as you can see, okay. It came out to 20 and 5 sixteenths. And this mark to this point we know it's center if both sides have the same measurement. Okay, gonna match it up first. Make sure we are pretty much on our mark. Okay, now we know where to drill. from the car. Now, as you see, we're gonna be doing a custom hood scoop that's gonna be epoxied and molded into the hood here. There's many ways to skin a cat, there's many ways to paint a car. I'm gonna be showing you a method that you can use here that will be long lasting and look fantastic. Well, we put in a couple of hours today, heavy epoxy in this corner, in the middle I built it up, and also on this corner. The rest here I just filled with body filler. It's not that bad. It's just to keep it from squeezing like this. So here's another one of my tricks. To get into tight areas, you can use a paint stirrer as a block. And I like to use the orbital uh, sticky paper like this you just wrap it around it and then you can get into tight areas
Now, when doing custom work like this, you know, you're gonna go over with Bondo at least four passes, sometimes six, sometimes up to eight passes because you're trying to get the shape right, all right? So uh, if we look in here, you can see, look, it, it needs a little bit of filler in those dark areas there, you see it? Little low area in there. So I still need to put some filler in here. And of course, we're building this front piece up. Okay, if we can see, we need some filler in here. What I wanna do is kind of blend this piece coming down custom. I don't wanna just have it looped. I wanna have the sharp edge come all the way down. That's actually looking really good. I put my cap on, okay, which is my filter and cap, and then I'm gonna screw this on. Okay, that's pretty much ready to rock and roll. chip on board light system here. It's fantastic. They did a really good job with the light combination because it, it really shines up the paint directly where you need it. So definitely check out Gunbud um, if you don't have one. Pick one up, they're super cheap and they fit on any gun, uh, gravity feed spray gun top. You can see I put it on my quick cup system, it'll work perfect. And um, you can put it on anything. Fantastic little device there. You want to tack it, okay? Because you want to get the overspray or whatever is off because if you don't, the tape will not stick. The line wider and just go black in here, okay? So that's what we're gonna be. So I'll start right in the middle here, about, give or take. Okay, you want to pull it long. Outer edge is going to be white.
couple important things on spray guns, guys. You never want to take off certain things on spray guns, okay? Like this fitting at the bottom, this fitting here, okay? This is all factory installed. This fitting in the back. I'm looking at the Atom X27 spray gun here, the low volume, low pressure, high volume, low pressure, same thing. The main thing that comes out really is the fluid nozzle and the cap. That's the only thing you really want to take apart on a spray gun uh, to clean out. You don't have to disassemble the whole thing because when you do, you start messing around with the valves and you can have spray gun failure. This is lacquer thinner in this bottle. I just rinsed it out. I just put some thinner in there, shot it through it, and that's it. Okay, you don't even have to take it apart. Well, if you want to, you could take off the front, but I didn't even do that. Let's see what happens. All right, so the paint job is done. I'm just playing around right now. And I just added a little pinstripe that I had, a gold and a red pinstripe to the seam here. And it looks pretty damn good to me. Take a look at it. Just a little subtle line there. Um, the red can match the mirrors. Okay, so we just have to pop the hood on. Uh, the roof is pretty much dry. So what I'm doing right now is gluing back our emblems. So if we take a look here, you can see that um, I left some of the glue to the other side because I just can't wait. It's pretty much where it needs to go. Okay, so that's it. Project, we got candy painted mirrors and spoiler, uh, plasti dipped flat black wheels, a black painted rear tailgate. We did not fully detail it yet, but you can see how it looks pretty cool. Uh, we could put some vinyl dressing on the raw plastic on the bottom, uh, which will enhance the look. But uh, I think it looks pretty sporty. We did uh, the three-tone pinstripe here with the top cut out. You can see this is one design. I haven't figured out which one I liked yet. I think I like the other side. You'll be able to see that custom molded hood scoop. Uh, pinstripe along the hood here.
looks like a sporty little SUV now. Here's the design of the pinstripe on this side. All right, so if you're still watching this, it means you were interested. Um, I urge you to check out learnautobodyandpaint.com to get some more free training and a free auto body guide that I think you'll really, really like. So uh, this project actually had a lot more detail that I went into, and all of those videos are in VIP. We actually went as far as doing a cutting and buffing series on this thing, so it wasn't complete by the time we ended this. I know one hour was getting so long, so check everything out, and um, I hope you enjoy. Bye.